Big Smoke Beats. Who smoke better than he? I'm from Long Island, New York, and we straight out in Cali. Shout out on the Grand Magazine. Let's go. Uh, about like four or five years now, been working. Um, I started making beats at first. Um, I was loving the sounds and like all the different types of 808s. So I was like, let me see if I could do stuff like this. And then I just started making vibes. And I was like, let me see if I can start writing on it. Uh, yeah, cause where I'm from, um, West Money to be exact, Nassau County. Uh, we have all like different types of artists. Like even certain artists originated from Long Island, like Mariah Carey, I'm saying she was from here and then look the music she was doing, look where it got her. So there's all types of different vibes. Even the city is next door to us too. So all that vibe, we get everything, we get everything. We're like the suburbs compared to them. So there's definitely a lot of artists, definitely a lot of sounds and it's just so mixed up with it though, you feel me? Favorite aspect of it? how you can like attract a group, like a crazy crowd of people through one song. Just one specific little viral part in the song. Everyone just loves it. They'll come like a hundred deep to a show just to hear that part and sing it with you. Shit is unreal. <laughs> Shit is unreal. And we just the realest niggas in it. Okay. It's like one of them things, like if you know, you know. You know what I mean? You just gotta be tuned in, tapped in with your third eye. Type shit, you feel me? <laughs> Trip Skylog, so. It's like a Delic Savior, let's put it like that. Whole cool. different world, whole different universe, shit is unreal. It's based off my life. Basically, it's like I put my whole life in a biography and just sing it out loud for everyone to understand where I'm coming from. And to really like get to know me more. I'm not really a conversational type of person. So it's like, that's why I write everything out more. I can express myself and really get out what I'm saying. Yeah, I feel like people could better understand me when they listen to my music so they know like what I'm going through or what I'm feeling at the moment or at that time. I play video games. Um, I'm a father. I have a daughter. She's five years, uh, five years old. She just graduated from pre-K. Shout out to her. Um, I'm also in IT. I do IT work, tech fundamentals and stuff like that, going into cybersecurity. Um, I'm supposed to be flying to Africa for my graduation for that, so... You know, okay. we're going everywhere with it. Smoke beats everywhere, worldwide. I would say this is definitely a lot of work, but there's nothing that we can't overcome if we don't put our minds to it. We could really do anything we want to. We could succeed in anything if we really focus on it, you know? So it's like, if I really want this dream, I really want this goal to happen, I'm going to keep pushing through every obstacle that holds me back. No matter what it is, just got to keep going. You never know what's going to happen if you don't take that risk. Mm -hmm. So why not try? I mean, that's mainly like when I started making music, that was the sound I was going for. Like that little Uzi Vert type of vibe. Like that's always just been like my little outlet, my little vibe. You feel me? Like I always love that type of music. Like I grew up to like bumping Hollywood Undead from over here in Cali. Mm -hmm. So it's like... I listen to rap and all that too, don't get me wrong, but I also love the rock music too. So combining it, it was just like genius. Space Rage, um, that was like my first like studio album that I first put together, like after I dropped the EP. So that's when I decided to like really take the music serious. So, and at that time I was definitely going through a lot. It was a lot with my mind and I needed to express it somehow. And then those beats at the time I found, I was just like, whoa, like I could really talk to y'all for real. And that's what I did. And then ever since then, it's like I threw a little showcase. The outcome was unexpected. Like it went amazing. Shout out to my partner over there, PYE. Like that was like our first big thing we put together and everything has just been out of space since. Everything's been out of this world. It's too unreal. Like I get some, I, I, I reach out, I try to get to know them. You know, it's like, we, not, we may not be friends or anything like that. It's like, if you're a stranger, I'm just to say hello. Or if I see you're in the store or something, you're struggling, like, make conversation, like, help them out real quick. Like, 
just get to know people and just understand like what they're going through not really what they're going through but like understand like every type of person because there's different type of people and it's like every day you go through a lot of people and you see them they judge based on what they see but you don't really know what's going through that person's mind at that moment it's like it's, it's shown in a lot of movies too recently i've been watching so i'm just like wow like just help others just be kind get to know them you never know it could lead to a different opportunity for real I feel like me, like the type of person I am, I ain't really feel no change because I just nonstop keep writing music and just keep making songs. And then when I see like a certain set of songs that go all into like one type of category, boom, I got a few projects if that's the case, you know? So I just nonstop write and I just feel like I gotta keep giving them better. I never feel like it's not good enough. I always feel like it's not good enough. So I just keep going, same process. Off of Space Rage, Run Through. There's no fun, nobody. There's no fun, nobody else. Um, process, that one's dope. Off my most recent project, actually, Unreal, um, the song Lover's Interest is actually spinning on Power 105.1 on the radio back in New York. So that song was doing it too. That's like number one right now for me. How did, how did you feel when you like tune into the radio and you, like, you heard your song playing? It's crazy because I'm not gonna lie, I have yet to even catch it. It's like when I hear it or when I hear about it, I'll get a text message. Yo, you're on 105. What? Yo, I'm just like, wow, like I'm in the studio. So I'm like, damn, like I can't run out to my car right now. But I keep the app on sometimes. So I just like listen now just in case. Everyone is friendly. Everyone is so kind. Like everyone's just mad cool. You know, they don't look at you crazy. They just say hello. And the weather, man, it's beautiful out here. Like right now in New York, it's summertime, so it's hot and humid over there right now. Over here, it's just it's warm and cool. Like you get a breeze too. You ain't sweating everywhere. So, LA, baby. Oh, after the radio, after this magazine. I don't know, like, I really want to be in a film or, like, one of the shows that's on, like, stars, like, Power or The Shy. So that's why I'm, like, building a portfolio so they can see what's going on through the auditions and then hopefully I end up on TV. My childhood dream was always to be on TV, regardless of what I did. I just want to be an actor, like, just play a role. My life is a movie anyway, so why not make it happen, you know? So I want to end up on TV. If the music could help me, so be it. Definitely, because we're in LA. Like, Hollywood is not too far from here. Like, this is where it all began. Like, Hollywood is Hollywood. You feel me? Like, all the movies, that everything. Hollywood. Everything Hollywood, you know? So, you never know. Someone from there gonna see the magazine, of course. Underground is up there. It's on top, so we lit. Stay tuned for that new music video, Changing States. I smoke beats. Shout out by Gavin. Shout out Underground. Let's get it. I feel like we met before.